Let me show you how to customize the lock screen shortcuts on your iPhone 16 or iPhone 16 Pro. Now, you can see the default lock screen shortcuts on my iPhone. Now, if you want to change this to different shortcuts, then long press on the lock screen. As long as the iPhone is unlocked, then it's going to go into this lock screen editor. So what you want to do now is tap on customize and then select lock screen. So you have the lock screen and the home screen select lock screen and that's going to open up the lock screen editor so now you can pick either the shortcut on the left or on the right let's work with the one on the left so the first thing you want to do is remove the shortcut so tap on this minus icon in the top left corner of that uh, particular icon you can see that circle and this minus sign okay let me just try and bring it closer this minus sign here so we just tap on it and that's going to remove that particular shortcut. Once it's removed, now it's going to be a plus symbol. That means you can tap on it and then add any shortcut you want. So now you have this long list of shortcuts that you can add to your lock screen. So let's say for instance, I want to add a shortcut to voice memos, okay? Let's say I use voice memos a lot and I want it on my lock screen. I can just tap on voice memos and that's going to be my new shortcut. And then once I'm done, I can tap on done. If I want to, I can also change the lock screen shortcut on the right hand side. But for this tutorial, I'll just change this one and then tap on done in the top right corner and then tap on the lock screen to get out of the editor. So now, as you can see, I have a different uh, lock screen shortcut and all I have to do to activate voice memos is just long press. And as you can see, that starts voice memos which is actually the voice recorder for the iPhone. And then I can long press on it again to stop recording. So that is basically how to change or how to customize the lock screen shortcuts on your iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro. Now this also works on all the iPhones that have iOS 18. So it's not exclusive to iPhone 16 and 16 Pros. But for this tutorial, I've been using the 16 Pro Max. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.